Introducing the McCormick Systems Estimating Suite. Hands down the easiest and fastest estimating system on the market. From PDF to proposal, all in one program. The estimating software has four levels, each packed with more and more features. Also, add on our famous on-screen estimating pro. McCormick definitely has the right software for any contractor, small to large. Welcome to the ease and speed of McCormick estimating. Let's take a look at the software. Let's go ahead and click the new job button. This brings us to our job details window. Simply fill in the information about the job. Details are customizable and can be used to fill in our automatic Microsoft Word proposals at the end. Final step, add your drawings to the job so we can take them off later. McCormick will accept pretty much any type of file. Grab your PDFs, TIFFs, JPEGs, whatever you'd like. After loading them into the job, you can pick and choose which drawing you'd like. Simply preview the drawing first and then click to save it. Let's go ahead and grab all of these drawings and import. That's starting a job. We're ready to estimate now. The process is easy and straightforward. We're going to follow five simple steps. We've completed step one and started the job. Let's go ahead and click on step two, labels. Labels are McCormick's way of breaking the job down for project management. First, we can name the different types of bids for this particular job. I'm going to go ahead and add in a couple alternates, and then later on we could do change orders too, all under the same job. This particular job has three major sections, so I'm going to go ahead and add those to column two. Now I want to break up those three sections into column three by the floors. This way if I wanted to, I can run a material list on say, building B floor two later on down the road. We give you the opportunity to break out a job however you'd like. Now let's go ahead and do the takeoff for those breakouts we just did. You can see here all of the labels we just provided. Now all we have to do is click on the label we want to work on. Let's work on base bid building A floor one. McCormick has thousands of preloaded items and assemblies. Let's go ahead and check out an assembly that we already have built. In this example, we're going to look at a water closet. So if we click on the water closet, we can easily just count how many we want manually. This shows that I've taken off 10 water closets manually into my audit trail. Check this out. In this assembly, by counting the 10 water closets, I get the water closet and all the pipe vertical in the wall. Waste, water, and vent is done in one button click. Assemblies are totally customizable. Use McCormick's preloaded assemblies or change or build your own. Finding things are a snap also. Let's check out some pipe. Let's run some copper, 95.5. With this assembly, I'm going to use a band hanger with C-clamp. Let's go ahead and click on this half inch. And let's say we need 500 feet of this pipe for this job. Just type it in and hit enter. Here's another way to view an assembly. Click the down arrow to view exactly what you took off. With that 500 feet, I'm automatically going to get all of my copper tube, all of my couplings, all of my solder joints, C-clamps, band hangers, and so forth. With McCormick's assemblies, takeoff has never been faster or easier. Let's do some takeoff for floor two. Notice how the audit trail is empty? That's showing that we've not done anything for floor two yet. Floor one still has its takeoff in there. McCormick's easy to view audit trail keeps you organized. Shows you exactly where you're doing takeoff at all times. Okay, let's show you how these assemblies now relate to our digital on-screen estimating pro takeoff. This assembly here can be assigned a shape and a color. I've made this an orange line. All right, so instead of us doing manual takeoff now, we're gonna go ahead and open up a plan. Let's start doing some digital. I'm gonna go ahead and pick my plan. Once I pick my plan, I can choose to rotate the plan if I wanted to, and I must pick a scale for us to do proper takeoff. That's how quick and easy it is. We're now ready to start doing our takeoff. So I'm gonna take that orange line or that half inch copper 
and start drawing it on my plan. And as you can see, it is measuring and saving every piece of takeoff for me. All I have to do as an estimator, draw it on the plan. Measurements and takeoff automatically drop into the audit trail. Let's take off some more material. Let's go ahead and grab a lav. We're going to go and pick L Copper coming in and we want PVC going out. Let's go wall hung. Again, you can see all the parts and pieces we need to install that. And our OSC Pro specs show it's a blue lav. Again, all we're going to do is place that lav right onto our PDF and the program automatically counts it. Now we can rotate and size our shapes as we're doing takeoff. This is super handy for when we're doing our design build. Remember with design build you can place these symbols anywhere on the drawing that you'd like. Okay, let's go ahead and take some water closets off. Same thing, we're gonna go L copper water in and PVC going out. Again, grab the plan and place the water closets where they belong. Last but not least, let's go ahead and grab our waste pipe. We're going to do some PVC drain waste and vent and we'll go no hanger since it's underground. Let's grab the 4 inch and place it on the drawing. Again, since each fixture already has the vertical built into it, all I have to do is draw the horizontal. This digital takeoff sure does make estimating fun. But besides it being fun, you can see that it lessens the opportunity for mistakes and keeps you more consistent for every plan, for every job. Again, every pipe run or every fixture is auto-saved. As soon as I mark it on the plan, I am done. Okay, so all of this takeoff that we have done is now loaded into the estimating software audit trail. Notice the P on the right hand side. This is showing that it's coming from the plan or OSC Pro. Here's where it really gets easy. When you're done with your takeoff, hit number four extend and automatically you've got your material list totaled up with price and labor units. Let's go ahead and look at one of our pieces of material. We took off that half inch copper tube. It looks like we took off about 1,396 feet. And our price is a dollar and three cents each foot. If I wanted to, I could change the pricing right in the material list without affecting my database. Let's say I wanted to change it to 98 cents a foot. No problem. Also want to change my labor unit from 0.03 man hours each foot to 0.02 man hours each foot. You can see in the bold everything that has been changed on this material list. Watch this, I'm gonna collapse my cost codes and you can now see your totals for every cost code in the system. Look at my copper, I've got $1,395 total cost and 49 man hours. You can easily see the material list by clicking on the arrow. Remember those labels we set up before? Now I want to see my material list by floors. Let's go ahead and separate out the floors. Now when I collapse my labels, check this out. You can see my floor one total material cost and man hours. Same thing with floor two. Anytime you want to see the material, just go ahead and expand that label. Breakouts, bid review, material ordering, and project management are unmatched in McCormick's extensions. Now we can send a summary and finish up the bid. The bid summary is an easy place for us to finish up the bid. We have our total material cost here and we're now going to add our labor to our man hours. Keep all of your workers rates in the system and simply add them to the job or bid with a composite rate. In this example, I'm going to give 20% of the hours to the foreman, 40% to the fitter, and the other 40% to the apprentice. All hours have been assigned, giving you total labor dollars. Flip to the Quotes tab to easily enter quotes from your suppliers as you receive them. 
We'll enter in a few quotes here, and you can also add more lines if you need. Adding subcontractors are just as easy. Let's throw in a couple here. Next, we have our direct job expenses. Let's throw in some permits and fees and let's grab a couple hundred dollars for some fuel and oil for this job. If you want to charge for some equipment rental, go ahead and add that in. We also provide a bonding table and of course your taxes. There you have it. We go to our top sheet and view all of our totals. If we look down the right hand side, you can see your full job totals. Now we just need to make some money. Let's throw some overhead on here. Here's 10%. I can add it to all of my categories and then simply change individual categories if I choose. Same thing with profit. Let's go ahead and add 25% to all of our categories. Now we can add the square feet for the job. This will give us a price per square foot and hours per square foot. Not only that, let's go ahead and add in job months. Say I want to get this job done in one month and we work 40 hours a week. That will give us 1.23 workers per day that we will need to complete this job. That is how fast and simple it is to complete a bid with McCormick estimating software. McCormick has many more extras like an automatic Microsoft Word proposal, schedules, graphs. Give us a call for a full, complete web demonstration. Now that you've seen the future of estimating, why waste countless hours on an old way? Give us a call now.